Hey everyone, so in case if you still don't know, this person made some nice uh, modded drivers for uh, old GPUs and new ones. So, as you know, legacy GPUs such as R9 390 or uh, R9 40X and uh, HD 5000 series uh, are no longer supported by AMD. <coughs> so, you will no longer receive the driver updates from AMD, but uh, with this modded driver you will be able to have the latest version. So, in this video we will do this for R9 390 GPU, because this is a GPU which I have. So, what are you gonna need first? First, scroll down to the download link section and select this spoiler, Release Legacy G GCN Architecture. Click on it and uh, select the latest driver which you see, it might be any version really. Click on it. Afterwards, click download and click download anyway. I'm not gonna do that because I already have the download. Already downloaded it. So then you will need to download the software. This one on top is the driver and this is uh, the software. Software is actually optional, so you can skip it if you don't want the AMD software, but still gonna download it anyway. Click on it and right click GC, CCC to GCN install.exe and click download. So now we're gonna need the DDU. DDU is a display driver uninstaller tool. Right, open Google and write DDU download. Open this website. The official website on this software. Click on this. Scroll down a bit. Click here for download and support. Scroll down. Official download here. Click on this. Okay. So now you will have these three files: the software, DDU, and the driver. So. Right now, we will need to open the DDU first and click Extract. Then open the DDU folder and uh, right click it and run as administrator. It will close some programs like MSI Turbulinov because it can't work with them. So make sure that create a system restore point is, uh, is checked here. Click close. Click OK here. Here, select GPU and make sure that it's AMD here. Click clean and restart. I will back to you once that will be done. Almost forgot to mention uh, that uh, before the next step, uh, make sure to disable your antivirus and uh, data protection and antivirus in case if your antivirus have it because some antiviruses can actually block the nzsetup.exe and the drivers which it's, it will try to install all right i'm back so let's proceed if you have 7-zip then right click the driver and unzip it into the separate separate folder like this if you have winrar then double click it Select Extract to and click OK. Also, I apologize, I'm not a native English person, so I might say some words with errors and I also stutter a lot because I'm really shy, sorry about that. Also, these drivers are about 1% FPS improvement overall and 1% uh, loads are improved in a good way in most of games. Uh, However, in some cases, uh, some games like Halo might benefit a lot from it, like four times FPS boost. So open the driver folder now. No, wait. Go back. Right click the CCC2 underscore GCN underscore install and select cut it. Go into the driver folder. Open dependency GCN folder. Right click and paste it here. Then right click in zsetup.exe as administrator. Open it. Mm. 
I'm gonna mute the music here just so it will not bother for the video here you need to write one so here for R9390 users and uh, R9290 you need to write one as well for users uh, which have these GPUs it's uh, better to write two better but uh, not always because uh, only Vulkan GPUs will benefit uh, fr from writing two for G these GPUs and only in some games uh, only in Vulkan games I mean and some other Vulkan games will actually crash uh, with uh, if you will write two so even if, if you have one of the, these GPUs you, you still can write one that's better for the maximum stability but if you want uh, the maximum FPS possible with one of these GPUs then you need to write two and uh, maximum FPS possible only in certain Vulkan games so we're gonna write one because I have R9390 GPU here it asks you if you want to disable the Windows update otherwise so it will not uh, overwrite the driver Select yes, disable now. Here you need to press got, got it and uh, and then you will need to spam install this driver software anyway. Also, I will uh, stop the video for now and uh, we'll start it at some other times uh, during the video uh, because uh, I already recorded this previous time and uh, the recording was corrupted so after a certain point during the driver installation the video just corrupts itself so I need to stop it frequently to avoid the corruption at certain point I'll back to at some point so just to make it clear, uh, once it uh, pops up like that, you need to press install this driver software anyway. I think it will pop up like that for maybe 10 times or so. I'll back to you after that's done. Right, so this step is uh, really important because uh, the default one is uh, use a Microsoft PNP plug and play driver installer. However, when I tried that, it actually blue screen on me. So I later on tried the use snipe driver installer and it worked just fine. So in this video we'll use the snipe driver installer. However, if this will not work for you then try the Microsoft PNP. Right now we'll use the snipe driver installer. Because this is what worked for me. <laughs> so here it will open this window. And uh, as you know, I have R9390, however, it shows up at, as R9390X for some reason. Anyway, though, it worked just fine once I tried it. So here you need to check the box, so it will become the black. And here you need to click install, but do not check the reboot PC after installation. Do not check that. So just make sure that this is black, and here you need to click install. I will stop the video again now. Alright, so installation completed here. As you see, it must say installation completed here. This uh, process took me around uh, 2 or 3 minutes and that's on NVMe SSD. It might be faster for you, it might be slower for you. Depends on your storage and uh, processor, I guess. So after that's done, you need to click uh, close here. So here it asks you to check if uh, VHQ file log uh, is, I mean signature is uh, displayed and no problems found like that. So you need to click got it and wait for DXDR to be opened. Make sure that this box is checked here and press display one. Here it must say no problems found <laughs> and you can click exit then wait a bit if you sub the VHQL status present on 
display tab section then press yes if you did not save it then press no i save it so i'm gonna press yes here it asks here it asks you to place ccc2 underscore gcn underscore install dot exe in the dependencies folder we already placed it there so we're gonna press enter So this is the Radeon software. If you want it, then you will need to write one and press enter. If you don't want it, then you just can write B or X to go B to go back into the main menu or X to exit. Because Radeon software is totally optional. Some people want it, some people don't. <laughs> Now you need to write chu to install the adrenaline real life add on. Again, that's totally optional. And now write three. Right, so now you will write B to go back into the main menu. Also, right now you can right click on your desktop and uh, select AMD Radeon settings to make sure that the driver is working fine. I open it, it on my second display. So here you need to click on the settings. Here you see software and driver. Select more details. And you can see driver version here. If you will write this driver version in Google in Google, you will see that this is the latest Radeon version, Radeon driver version. <laughs> so here in the in this setup, write for then you can see configure PCI resizable bar MD smart access memory. You need to write 12. Then select enable. Afterwards you need to write 15. Hope the video did not stop it because damn that I forgot that this uh, this thing restarts the driver. The video seems to be working fine still, so happy about that. So what this just did for us, uh, it enables uh, the PCI resizable bar support for your GPU, but only if you enable the enable the above 4G decoding in your BIOS and PCI resizable bar support in your BIOS also must be enabled. And your BIOS version must be the latest one as well because uh, some older versions do not support it. Also your GPU must be 4 GB video memory or, or more than that. So what else did we missed? Right so as you can see, number seven have uh, workload mode here. For some reason the installer froze for me. So that's weird. That never happened before. I'm gonna open it again now. Since it froze, there is no other way. So at number seven you can see MD graphics for cloud mode. What what's that gonna do? So graphics is for gaming obviously. Compute mode is for uh, some workloads and uh, most importantly for mining in case if you did mining before. As you know, miners love to use the Linux system because uh, on Linux uh, compute mode uh, is enabled always. As far as I know, and you can have uh, big hash rates on all GPUs there. However, on Windows, all GPUs do not support compute mode by default. However, with this thing, I hope uh, it works just fine, and you can have high hash rates 
in mining with your old GPU such as R1990. I did not test that however, so hopefully it works too. Right, so last thing to do. Try to open your Windows updates. And you can see here uh, this yellow notification. As you remember, we disabled the updates uh, from Windows updates uh, for drivers before in, in this setup. And to fix that, fix, uh, to remove this yellow notification, you must have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. Fortunately, I don't think that uh, on home you can do that. So only for Pro or and Enterprise version of the Windows. So in search bar, write gpedit.mcc. MCC. Sorry for my English. Right click it and uh, run as administrator. Open it. Here, click administrative templates. Windows components. Make it larger a bit. In that. Scroll down. Click on Windows Update, again make it larger a bit. Find the... Uh, do not include drivers with Windows Updates, find that. Double click it. Click Disabled. Click Apply. Click OK. Now double click it again. Click Not Configured. Click Apply. Click OK. Close it. So, now open Windows Updates again. And as you can see, the notification is gone. <laughs> so, oh, almost forgot. For the resizable bar support, you also open need to open the AMD Radeon settings. So enable it. Then you need to go into the performance tab. As long as you enable the resizable bar support and above 4G decoding in your files. Go into tuning, click I accept, and here you must see PCIe resizable bar support. I don't see it on my end because uh, I have a very low end motherboard which have broken PCIe resizable bar support and uh, it does not have a working above 4G decoding as well, so I'm all to flag here. However, you might have a working one, so make sure to enable it here as well as in your BIOS. <laughs> That's about it. As you can see, this menu also has some options for AMD Crossfire doll graphics. However, I use only a single GPU, so I did not mess with that. If you have dual GPUs, then give it a try, I guess. And that's about it. If you have any questions, then you can ask me here and other people in the comment sections or in the forum where the, you downloaded the drivers from. Lots of uh, very skilled tech related people are there and they might be able to help you. Thank you for watching.